Hello, Cancer. Guess what time it is? It is time for your mid-June to July reading for 2019, this current year. Yay. We're going to go ahead and look at what's going on for you from now until the middle of, a, uh, or not, not the middle, um, the beginning of June. Yeah. No, wait. Hold up. The beginning of July. From now <laughs> until the beginning of July. Okay. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. It's just a card game after all. Don't come for me. Don't go in on me. For love's sake. We're going to see what's going on with you this month. This coming few days. So. Parut. Let's see, guys. We got... Five of Wands Reverse, the Justice card, Head Over Heart Decision and the Wants and Wishes, Temperance Reverse and the Fears and Rejections, Ten of Wands in the Situation, Six of Swords in the Obstacle and Challenge coming against you. Why are you trying to go back to this, dude? Why do you guys always go back to shit? I'm not sure what the reason is, but you know. Six of Wands as catalyst, as well as the final result. What started this, what ended it. Someone shot their wands up to get a victory. And then most likely achieved it. However, there's bad judgment call in all of this. So I don't know how that's actually... I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if this was a good idea. I'm just reading into that just a tad. It's like, I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know if this victory is a really good idea. <clears throat> Like you're burdened with your heart, but your head's talking about a victory. Like cancer, I, I don't want to sound mean to y'all, but you guys are not the most logical people. Nothing against you. You're cool people, but sometimes logic is um just not your thing. It's like, I don't know. Sometimes I think you guys like just start making things up in your head and you think it so hard that it becomes true to you and you go with it. Like that's sometimes what I think. <laughs> I don't know if that's correct. Like that's just my own little bias judgment call I suppose and I apologize for saying that but sometimes it seems that way. So that's why I'm sitting here like or maybe this is a Libra you're trying to get with or whatever we're dealing with too. But it's just kind of like... Your heart's burden and your mind's on a victory, so it's just kind of like... I don't know. Like, there's some battle that isn't going on, and you guys want to move on to calmer waters? Uh, yeah, someone keeps pulling you back to this burden. You want to move on to calmer waters that'll lead you to a victory, but unfortunately, there's something here where you're afraid that there's some disconnection going on. Someone's losing their patience. Two people aren't coming together the way they're supposed to, maybe? Okay. Five of Wands Reverse. Battling's been going on. Someone doesn't know how to take a journey forward to make this head over heart decision after all of this fighting, I think. With the full reverse right there. It's like you can see the day... You don't want to, but you're not sure about taking it. Like, you want to take the leap of faith, but it, you, you're not sure entirely about it. I feel like. I, I Like, you're not sure if you actually have the courage to do it. Look at it. Someone's, like, cowering down and walking away from the battle they never wanted to have in the first place. Um... But it's left them very much feeling like they are not happy and can't be themselves and that they're being watched and it's got them feeling left out in the cold like, you know, they are a, uh, like, they're less than something. Like, something, like, guards watching them constantly to where they can't, like, express themselves. And that person just feels left out in the cold a little bit by it. But it's also kind of like, you know, like, you guys gotta fight at some point. Like, especially if it's something that you really want. Now, this Ten of Wands, in the situation, someone is burdened, that burden's about, 
can't end that. Like, it's near completion. They're about to put down these wands and just let it go. It could be released. It's not stagnant. It's still moving. It's going to be lessened. At least very soon if it already hasn't been. But someone's growing really impatient with the whole situation. Time to reverse once again. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius who's pissed. Yeah, look at that. Queen of Wands reverse. Totally could be pissed. And saying mean shit. Or whatever. But it's like someone's definitely impatient. Someone doesn't want to communicate um, at all. I feel like. Justice Reverse could be Libra. You know, head over heart's decision. Someone wants to make a head over heart decision, but it's like, either they want to make it against, like, the Empress, which could be female Aries, Libra, Taurus, Venus, all around. Um, or maybe even a mother who, um is uh, probably pissed or something like she's come out twice for somebody else too but i can't remember but it's like um someone isn't sure if they want to take a leap of faith to her she might be being very logical right now and just not even trying to entertain this um fool who might who who's too indecisive to even come forward after the battle um, Six of Swords. The obstacle and challenge coming against somebody is trying to move on to calmer waters. Yeah, just in general. Trying to get away with shit. Trying to get away from shit. But this one is like the boat's full. Of, yeah, like the boat's full of the swords. It's like someone's trying to get away with all of their stuff. So double energy right there. Like, to move on to calmer waters, you need to move on to calmer waters. It's like someone... Okay, the obstacle and challenge, it's like... You have to go. But it's like... I don't know. I, like, with her sitting right there, it's like she's waiting. Because she's impatient. But her impatience is a burden. Because this shit's already over. Like, the battle's already over, and this person's hesitating anyway to move forward to this empress. And it's like she's sitting there when, in reality, what she should be doing is moving, going, doing some shit. Now, what's behind this empress is the temperance reverse in the fears and rejections. And someone's afraid that nobody's going to come together because of a lack of wanting a passionate movement towards the situation. Like, he's moving away from all of this. Um, he's not going anywhere near this empress. She's not looking or paying attention to him. Like, his passion isn't going towards this direction. It's going towards that one. So it's like toward a, a different future. And it's just kind of like... It's like the impatience caused passion to be lost, lost. Either with this... Sagittarius or temperance or just with the person who I guess was uh, who was hesitant they just lost passion towards it towards co not coming together like it, it, two people didn't come together because someone decided to put their energy somewhere else I feel like which is probably why the double energy of the six of swords is just like you have to go somewhere in order to get calm water you can't just keep thinking that you're going to get this victory unless you actually do this. It's like telling you, hey, hurry up. Actually, that's the dark mode, too. This is like when they're cloaked in secret, trying to do it secretly. But it's like almost going back to the past. This is going to the future. Looking ahead. Sure, it's dark. You don't know where you're going, but at least you're going somewhere that's not here. Are you just heading to a cave or something. But yeah, it's like... Mm. And this six, oh my god. Wow, okay, okay. Six of wands, this victory that you're trying to go after or the person you're dealing with is trying to go after cancer, really, really bad judgment call. Like, wrath. From Mestephistoles or whatever his his name is.
Mephistiles? I can't remember how to pronounce his name. He's like the dude with the sword who guards the um, Garden of Eden because apparently God did not like want anyone eating a fruit, but he left it in the middle of the yard. It's just like, you know, for someone who doesn't want your kids putting a certain thing in your mouth, like you really like leaving it around for them to touch, don't you? Why don't you put that, you know, but that's just me. It's just my thought. But it's just like someone believed that this victory would work like, oh my god, cancer. And like, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Wrath. It's coming down on a bunch of people, too. So this bad judgment call over here. Ooh, a few cards came out. Two seconds. Page of Pentacles, um, King of Swords, both backs turned, but upright. And then there is the Five of Cups right here. Someone paying, like, ugh, okay. Like, someone's turned their back to this offer. Very immature offer. It's a valid offer, but the King of Swords is just like, you know what? Nah, it's cool. I don't even have anything to say to you, right? And, but yet, what this King of Swords is doing while ignoring this offer is mourning what was lost. This could be the person who was trying to make the offer, and this person's just turned their back, just completely cold, just being like, I don't even want to talk to you. And on the inside, they're mulling over their emotions. Like that's the bad judge that's what comes with the bad judgment call. And yeah, being left out in the cold. It, it just kinda Okay, yeah. It kind of Yeah. All they left out in the cold just kept fueling the judgment. Like somebody's wrong about something. A situation or a person could be. I'm not sure. You know, someone was incapable of, like, going towards the light and releasing themselves from the situation. Like, the bird even came to help, and the person was like, you know what, I'm really stuck, when in reality they're just tied to a sword, very loosely, not attached to the ground or anything. At least I don't think. Blindfolded and shit, but, but the ropes aren't even tight on her. She can get her arms out easy. She's totally missing the fucking bird that's gonna come down and eat her. You know, just completely ignoring that they could have gotten themselves out of this situation. But now it's like... This right here is almost like... Mmm. I would say they're traveling somewhere to work on something different or to bring something else in. You know, look, these dudes are working on something together. This person is delivering a package for people who um, are doing the work. Like, special delivery! They're coming in secret to deliver something, right? Possibly doing sneaky things in order to get this package. Oh my god, I hope no one's getting poisoned. Um, King of Wands, right? He's got snakes behind him while he sleeps. He's a just king, but, like, there are people coming in going after him. People trying to go in on that motherfucker. <laughs> For no reason except that he's got ability and power. Like, there are snakes behind him, and he is so preoccupied with being a good ruler. Or whatever image he's trying to establish with his rule that he doesn't see the snakes. And there are snakes. Um, there could be a new beginning here, though. But someone needs to figure out what is and is not fair. That is, like, quite important in this. It's like someone isn't... Like, this love could be possible, but this bitch is looking over here like, I don't know if I want to go to you, considering, like, you know, you don't understand the point of give and take 
you know, like I like I think they just like not like they're doing it intentionally because it's just kind of like you know maybe they didn't notice that they had snakes behind them while they were trying to get their shit done. Maybe they didn't see that like they were going a little bit overboard, and that's okay because that's a human thing. They just need to take some time to kind of reevaluate what is um, a concern for everybody else. I feel like like they want to be fair. They're just not sure about how to go about things because they already have a bad judgment here. And that's what's been keeping them in the cold. Now, that was your reading, Cancers. Yay. Um, thank you for watching my video. If you want a personal reading, my email's down below. Uh, as is my PayPal, but I don't charge. It's just for donations and tips. So that's up to you. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you all have a good day, and I will see you later. Mwah. Love you. Bye-bye.